see. I no longer use sport as a way to satisfy my deepest needs. I now see sport as a gift and an opportunity to worship. At National Training Camp, I've found that the boundary line where I and God begins is much closer than I had ever anticipated. I'm an extremely competitive person by nature and would often expect perfection for myself on and off the court. With standards like that, I would get incredibly frustrated and disappointed when I couldn't live up to them. I would often shut myself in a room after a game and not want to talk to family or friends and just go and cry. Through my involvement with Athletes in Action, I've learned that my identity is not based solely on my performance and my identity as an athlete. And I've realized that God's love is unchanging no matter how I perform, and there's definitely freedom in that. I knew what I was getting into when I called you I knew what I was getting into when I said your name But I said it just the same I knew what I was getting into and I still want you I knew what I was getting into I knew what I was getting into and I still chose you I knew what I was getting into and I still want you I knew what I was getting into and I still said your name I said it just the same I knew what I was getting into And I am not shocked by your brokenness. I knew what I was getting into, and I still want you. I knew what I was getting into, and I still like you. A year ago, I couldn't be, I wouldn't be able to answer the question of where my hope comes from, and being asked that. Recently, I can confidently say that, um, yeah, it, it's from God and it's from Jesus and it's not going to change. It's there permanently forever. My name's Caitlin and my life has been changed through AIA. Amanda, my life's been changed through AIA. Hey, my name is Johnny and my life's been changed by AIA. My name is Charlotte and my life has been impacted by Athletes in Action. And I see in you the sea.